Now to an incredible new detail about that Thai cave rescue. This morning we're learning that the plan to save that soccer team was even riskier than we were told. ABC's Matt Gutman spoke with the divers who saved their lives. He joins us now from Hong Kong. Good morning, Matt. Hey, good morning, Cecilia. Diving those boys out was the only way out, but Thai American officials considered that rescue mission so risky that they thought they might lose up to half of that soccer team on the way out of the cave. In fact, there was so much concern about fallout that the Australian and British rescue divers had to have their immunity guaranteed. So numbers wise, what was the probability of success? So when I was asked that question by the governor, what I told him is I think we can probably realistically save 60 to 70 percent of the kids. I expect anywhere from three to five to die in this operation. One of the biggest concerns for the rescue divers, the boys panicking in the flooded pitch black tunnels. There's potential for them to kill themselves. There was potential for them to kill us. So rescuers decided to sedate them with the surgical anesthetic ketamine which would knock the boys out cold. Mallinson volunteering for that first rescue. At one point, the 13-year-old boy starting to wake up. Mallinson needed to administer more sedative. It was very tricky. I had syringes floating around on the surface trying to, trying to grab all of them. And incredibly, Cecilia, Mallinson had to administer three more shots before he got that boy out of the cave. And then on the last day of the rescue, another British diver got hopelessly lost inside the cave. They thought he was dead. You'll find out how he got out of that scrape and some other incredible details later on tonight. Cecilia. We will be watching, Matt. Thank you. And, of course, you can see more of Matt's report tonight on 2020 at 10 p.m. right here on ABC. Fascinating stuff. It really is. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.